Hey guys, welcome back to the Second Time Lucky Mining Channel. In today's quick video is going to be slightly different. I'll show you guys what my gaming computer looks like as I do some upgrades on it. If you like the content, please like the video and maybe even consider subscribing to the channel. It will help me out a great deal. But enough of shelling my channel, let's jump into it. Now, for those of you guys that don't know, I'm actually a gamer at heart. Um, you know, I've been into computers and playing computer games since I was a little boy. I just couldn't stop. And uh, mining has been a addiction <laughs> probably for majority of you guys that's watching this video as well for the last couple of years. So, you know, I've been a gamer for way longer than I have been a miner and mining or GPU mining uh, at least in my case, it's just an excuse or is a great excuse for me to buy high-end hardware and test it out. Now, like most gamers and tech enthusiasts, I make upgrades to my gaming computer quite often and it's here on my left-hand side, but I'll talk you through what is the specs of this and, and the upgrades that I'm going to make. But for those of you that are not following me on Twitter, I have bought a 7900 XTX and actually I've had it since last year, December, but I've had all sorts of issues with it, with uh, throttling and overheating and stuff like that. I've been trying to RMA it, but the guys have come back to me and say the behavior is normal. So here I am putting on my big boy pants and I'm just going to deal with it in my gaming computer. Now let's take you through what do I have at the moment. So as you guys can see here, I'm rocking a case that probably is not known to many or, or maybe it is, um, you know, one of the other things, I'm a big fan of small form factor cases. So the smaller it is and the bigger the hardware I can put into it, the happier I get with my gaming computer. But it's it's been my other addiction for the last couple of years. Small keyboards, small cases and seeing how much power I can pack into a small case. But looking at what do I have specifically at the moment here and if I just angle this slightly different, as you guys can see here, I've got a Radeon RX 6800 XT. This is a Red Devil. Um, this is my first AMD card. Yeah, I've been buying Nvidia cards for all of my life before this. And like many of you, and if you're a miner, uh, you know what happened the last couple of years, the GPU prices just skyrocketed. I really wanted a 3080 at the point in time, but I, I just couldn't get myself to pay the scalper prices and these inflated prices for 3080s. And as you have it, the uh, AMD GPUs was a bit more affordable. Yes, the prices was also inflated, but it was less inflated compared to the 3080 that I actually wanted. Um, and even before then, I had a 1080 Ti um, that I had, which was amazing. It was an EVGA uh, 1080 Ti. So this is the 6800 um, XT. Now what you will see here and this is one of the reasons why I wanted to upgrade and specifically why I wanted the reference card but I'll get to that just shortly. You can see here from the side it just doesn't fit exactly. So if you have a look at the bottom of the case um, it's just a little bit too tall <laughs> and as such the 7900 uh, XTX here uh, is a little bit smaller and as such would fit a little bit more flush. So um, that was the main reason why I wanted the reference card uh, because you know it's one of the dimensions and the things that you need to work with if you're a small case enthusiast is you just need to make sure that all of your stuff is going to fit. So this uh, there's only one un other 7900 XTX that will fit. I think that's the Sapphire Pulse. And the big thing um, around this case here, and this is a X-Proto, X Proto, it's made by Xtia. Um, is this was the first edition of this case, and um, you know, first, uh, how do they say, bleeding tech here is the first iteration. There's a couple of stuff that um, they've since now fixed or improved onto their latest revisions. Uh, being the first one here, if you look at the top, it's only a two and a half slot card, so I can only fit two and a half slot cards, and then it can only fit, I think, 320 millimeters at the bottom so that is the restrictions that i have and again the later versions or the newer versions specifically of this case you get bigger ones um, some of them now even have a hole here at the bottom so there's a lot of changes that um, you know the xdr made on the x proto since the first revision specifically of this case now a gaming computer is not just made out of a gpu the rest of the computer here and i'll turn it slightly around 
um, and hopefully talk you through the other specifications. I've got a 7900 XT, uh, oh sorry, 7900X uh, CPU underneath this cooler and this cooler is obviously not ideal. Um, as you can see here, it's a little bit bulky on the side. Most of the time I've got the case angled the other way so I don't really see the cooler but you know what I should have done from a aesthetics point of view is go with a lower profile cooler but the 7900X um, you know I wanted to keep it cool and I am a big Noctua fan for those of you that don't know um, so I went with the with a black specific cooler now I went with the black because it sort of fitted the aesthetics a little bit better and not the uh, iconic brown uh, Noctua stuff but anyway that's sort of why I went specifically with this cooler I was a bit afraid that um, you know I wasn't going to um, cool the the 5900X now the other stuff that I'm spotting here there's two NVMe drives one a gen 4 and another one a gen 3 and that's a data ones I'm spotting uh, 32 gigs of RAM um, I can't even remember that's the G-Skill RAM now one of the other changes that I want to make today here and that's some of the stuff that you would see on my case I've got custom sleeve cables so if the veteran miner is specifically watching this video mate can you just help me make some more cables I paid a fortune specifically for these and as you can see here all of these are custom made to the size specifically for the case to make sure that the bends um, and there's not excess cables running from my PSU and the big reason specifically for that and if I um, put it to the side here uh, is the majority or all of the cables will be connected here at the top and then fed through the spine specifically of the case and then it comes off um, if I lift it a little bit like this you would see there's a whole bunch of cables here at the bottom now what will happen is all of my cables will be nicely managed and right here at the back um, so in the end of the day it looks very clean now what you should be doing here is have all these 90 degree uh, connectors here at the top for USB-C for LAN for all of these type of things and, and getting them has been a pain now the other thing that I want to change today is um, as you can see here uh, I've got this absolutely disgusting cable and this is the cable that came with the case initially so when you buy the case or when I bought the case originally I don't know if they still do it today they gave you some sleeved cables um, and at the time as you can see this is a um, Asus Trix it's a very small motherboard um, so as you can see here uh, when I installed the CPU cable it just didn't work uh, at that specific point in time and that's potentially the drawbacks of getting custom cables made is they don't always work but anyway long story short um, you know once I routed all the cables it just didn't work um, I troubleshooted the issue and found out it's the CPU power and then I just plugged in this thing here and the big reason for that is I don't want to take the whole board off in order to um, feed this one cable in so it's a, a lot of work to assemble these small cases um, I wasn't keen for it at the time now taking you through exactly what I'm going to do now if I just angle this slightly here and put it here off to the side um, now what I have here at the bottom is I've got a new custom sleeve cable that the guy made for me that allegedly works so I'm going to be routing this beautiful custom sleeve cable uh, this video is obviously not sponsored at all um, I got it from from this guy and again the veteran miner if you're watching mate can you make me some cables I'm more than happy to pay for it uh, the other thing that I'm also doing is uh, let me open up the box is I've got a couple of new uh, or this is specifically a riser cable so if you're um, new to mining um, or if you're a miner having riser cables is not something new you would know all about it uh, but what happens with cases like this and if I just angle it slightly different uh, like this what what you will see here is the GPU sits on the one side of the case where the motherboard obviously sits on the other side of the case and probably if I angle it slightly different here you can probably see the cable there so obviously the GPU slot normally sits on that side however the GPU actually sits on this side so what the case design does it makes use of a riser cable in order for you to put your GPU on the other side now the riser cable that came specifically with this case at the time when I bought it was a gen 3 riser and that's what I'm rocking at the moment so 
what I've done now, specifically with the latest GPUs, supposedly supports Gen 5, but you know, I just went with a Gen 4 cable. I had a look at some of the benchmarks and you really don't lose a lot of performance from Gen 3 versus Gen 4 versus Gen 5. Uh, but in my case, I just wanted to go up at least to Gen 4 to make sure I don't have any issues. There is also proof of use of work and I'd love to test it out specifically on the 7900 XTX to make sure that I'm not losing out on a lot of performance. But enough of me talking about it, let me go and assemble it and show you guys what it looks like afterwards. Now there we go, I have replaced the PCIe, this is the Gen 3 one, so the Gen 4 one is right in there, so I've managed to replace that. And with all building computers or building computers in general, it never goes as planned. It's always a little bit more difficult, specifically with small form factor. I basically have to take everything out in order to get my power cable routed correctly. Um, unfortunately, that's just what it is, uh, but it does look pretty now. As you guys can see, I've got the matching um, power cables with all of my other ones, and then you will see it will ultimately match my GPU as well. So that's sort of why I went with the custom sleeve cables. Again, it's more expensive, but it does look nice and it makes me feel good at the end of the day around my bolt. But let's do the last component. All right guys, so there you have it. I just managed to put the GPU back and my gaming computer is back together with the minor upgrades. Upgrades being the GPU, a new riser and a new power cable specifically for my CPU. So that's really the small little upgrades that I've made and hopefully I'll make a series and continue it throughout the year. But having a quick look at what it looks like here and if I lift it a little bit, you will see how nice it looks now at the moment. So you can see there's no longer anything at the bottom restricting it so it will fit nicely. This is potentially how I would have it on my desk looking at the GPU spinning and looking at the cables. So as, I, as you guys can see here, it actually looks quite nice. Um, generally speaking, I have it slightly angled like this, but that's how it would look like, right? So it's got now the reference card and there's lots of space specifically on the reference card here at the bottom. So it's no longer at a slight angle um, looking or bothering me. And you know, to be honest, um, once I angle it to the side, I really never noticed my Red Devil. And this Red Devil, um, you know, will go into one of the mining rigs. Um, you know, I don't plan to sell it. I really like these Red Devils. I actually got a couple of them. Um, you know, one of them is with a mate at the moment. Uh, he is waiting to upgrade um, or he wanted to upgrade. So I borrowed him one of these and hopefully the performance has been good. I cleaned it and I stuffed up the LED cables, but um, you know, it game still perfectly fine. But that's it for this video, guys. What I'm going to do next is go and do a fresh install of Windows and drivers. Maybe not right today, um, but I'll make sure that by the weekend when I play with most of my mates that I've got a new fresh operating system on with my games and settings tweaks. I, I, I typically like to do that before the weekend to make sure that I'm ready to go when I need to go and play the meat shield for the team. But that's enough of this video, guys. If you've liked the video, please like it and maybe even consider subscribing. If you didn't, please specify in the comments what you would like to change. I'd love to hear what you are rocking to play games and even potentially mining. Otherwise, I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers. Cheers.